If you're trying to connect your WordPress blog to your Show It website template, don't worry. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. My name is Melissa of Superhero Design and I create bold brands for ambitious women online. Let's get started. So first thing is first, you're going to want to make sure that when you sign up for your Show It account, you sign up for the starter blog or advanced blog to make sure that you do have a WordPress blog because if you sign up for their basic one, it does not include a WordPress blog as an option. So that is step one. Once you have done that, then you're going to log into your show it editor. Um, in this example, I'm using Foxy Loxy and let me move this over just a tad. Um, okay. So over here, all, all of my pages. So here is my home page, And as you can see, if I scroll down, there is a blog section. Now I have already, done the setting where you duplicate the home page into the blog template. So I've duplicated this page and it is now in the blog template. So if you want all of this to connect and be your actual home page, then I'm going to go to blog templates on the left and click on home blog. And this will actually like load in the WordPress. Whereas if you're just under pages home, then that is not going to connect to WordPress at all. And this is just going to be static content that you can change manually and you can do that if you want. However, in this example, we are going to connect all of this to the WordPress blog so that it um, just automatically populates. So under blog templates, click on home blog. And in this section is where it will be. So if I click on the canvas and I'm going to also look at the mobile view too while we're doing it, this is what the mobile view looks like. I have it selected and on the right hand side, I'm going to go through all of these settings to make sure that all of these settings are correct. Um, the name should be blog. Um, WordPress should say post view lookup, post type standard, tag name slug featured. I have a tag called featured and I've already tagged about six of my posts with this tag name in my WordPress settings so that they will automatically populate in here. If you do not tag your posts in WordPress, they will not populate here. So make sure that you have featured or you can change it to any tag name that you want to use. I just chose to use featured and keep in mind that it is case sensitive. So I did a capital F. So if you are doing a capital in here, make sure you do a capital in your tag and I'll show you that in WordPress next. Um, number of posts, I have six because there are six displaying right here and I have it ordered by date descending. So it'll be like the newest um, post and then the older post will be down below. Um, okay. And so then if I click on the page and I click on this main tab here, home blog, one of the biggest things you have to do is set your template info. So if you see the tab over here on the right template info, the name is home blog canvas set main pages. That's just the canvas set that I'm using for like the header and footer. So that can just be specific to your template. Um, and then WordPress template is front page. This is the most important part. So this is going to make sure that this loads it as the front page, which is going to be your home page on the website. So when you go to your domain, it will load up as the home page. Okay. So those are the settings on the, Home page and then on the blog page here, if I click on that, click up here. I also have a featured section um, in here. Let me zoom out so you can see it. So all of these I have like tagged as featured as well. So if I click on the canvas and over on the right, I have the same exact settings except I have four posts because there are only four. Um, and then these are going to be the featured as well. So if you wanted to say display different ones on top here than you have on the homepage, you would just give it a different tag name and then tag those posts in WordPress, which um, I will show you. So to connect your uh, website to WordPress, you go to site settings, click on the blog tab. It'll say blog domain. If you have not already selected it, if you click edit, then you can select your blog here. So if you don't see anything here, then you need to reach out to show it and ask them to connect your blog and send you over the login and make sure that your website is connected, um, which mine already is. So I have my blog selected, which is this, this will be probably just your domain name.com as opposed to this test blog that I have. 
So I have that selected, so you just click Save. I'm just gonna click Close. And then to log into your blog, you are going to go to, in my example, my blog is this, you know, crazy URL, but it'll just be your domain name. And to log in, you go to your domain name forward slash wp-login.php, which again, show it will send you all of your login credentials. So you don't have to remember this specific URL. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log into the back end of WordPress that show it set up for me. And in here, I'm going to go to settings, show it. And for blog domain, that's going to be my main domain. So it'll just be your domain.com. So in my example, it's foxyloxy.showit.site. I'm going to load my custom show it pages checked, and I'm going to load the WordPress homepage instead of show it homepage also checked. And I'm going to save changes. And then under my pages, I'm going to go to pages, all pages. The, the two main pages that really matter in here are going to be your blog page and your home page. So I set up a page called blog. It should honestly already be set up for you. And then I set up a home blog page. So you're going to want to, I'm going to go ahead and delete this page to show you how to make one. So if you click on add new page, Call it home blog exactly like titled like this because that's exactly how it's titled in show it. And I'm going to hit publish. That's basically all you have to do for that page. And then under settings reading, you're going to want to set this. Your homepage displays a static page. For your homepage, you're going to select home blog. Post page is blog. Blog pages show at most nine posts. So you can choose however many posts you want to display on your um, blog feed. Um, and also like the syndication feed, which is like, I think your featured post um, displays like at most nine. So, uh, excuse me. So basically that's how you want to do that. And then click save changes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my site, which is here. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh it. I have already visited this site. So if I click on the logo um, and I scroll down, you can see my homepage is loading as my blog and it's pulling in all of these posts. So all of this is pulling from WordPress as opposed to um, the static template. So if I click on one of these posts, read more, it's going to take me into the blog post template which is here, which is the single post template. So if I click on blog, this is going to be my ta uh, my featured category here that I had tagged and all of my posts are automatically populating in here with all their featured images and everything like that. So once that is done, I'm going to show you in here your posts, all posts. So over here in this, um, column, you can see that there's a featured tag with the capital F like we talked about for like six of these posts. And those are the ones that are actually displaying. So you can either add it here by going quick edit and then adding the tag, or you can edit the actual post. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Click on edit. And then over here, the tag right here is featured. So you can get rid of the tag. You can add a new tag. And again, you can do multiple. So like if you wanted like just your podcast to show up as, as a specific section, then you would just tag it as podcast and make sure that it was the same and show it. So over here would be like podcast instead of featured, if that makes sense. Um, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to change that back to featured. Okay. I'm going to publish just to make sure that that is all saved and good to go. Um, and that is how you connect your blog. Now I did a separate video about how to connect your categories, but I can go ahead and just show you how to do that now. So down here, I have a canvas that um, has a category link. So if I edit it, I'm on the blog page, by the way. So if I click on this category link here, jewelry, and go to click actions, I'm gonna do link type URL, and I need to go and figure out what that URL is. So I have to go back to my blog, 
let's just say actually let's just do like say we want it to be the wedding i would go into these posts that are polling and click on the actual link that it is polling so i'm going to click on this so here is my category link for wedding and i'm just going to copy the url so it's just this whole url that your website generated for you if you go back to show it i'm going to post it and paste it in here so when you click on jewelry, I'm going to change this to wedding so you, you understand. Um, so yeah, so say this is a wedding, it's going to now link to this URL that we copied um, that your blog auto generated for us. So I'm going to hit publish and just so you can see how that works. And again, I made another video on just how to change these categories. Um, so feel free to watch that. So if I click on blog and I scroll down to these categories, you see I, the wedding that I changed, I'm going to click on that and it takes me to the wedding category. So yeah, that is how to set up your WordPress blog in Show It and make sure that all of your uh, posts are displaying properly and in the right section. Again, this is the Foxy Loxy theme on uh, superhero design. So feel free to go check it out.